So there's something that's coming up with that being healed by yourself and someone else healing you. I think there is value in someone who has mastery of certain aspects of life and body and mind and emotions and whatever we might call that field. Like when you invite someone to intervene, that's already step one versus someone, again, you've not invited and they can heal you and they're trying to heal you. That leads to a completely different outcome, which is unsolicited advice, unsolicited healing and also righteousness and all those games. The other is, yes, like you mentioned, Philippe, going to a massage place. I firstly chose that. And now let's just say this person or this masseuse has two decades of experience, four decades of experience. They're able to work with my body and my field in ways that I might not be able to by myself, but I invited that and showed up fully for that and for the changes that they're helping come about in and around me. There's also the element of, yes, I chose that, and then the maintenance of that. Maybe I wanted that, they created a benchmark for me, and now it's also my willpower and that plasticity that we spoke about earlier on the call to maintain that room that might have been created or that awareness or even to treat my body in that way if I really love the way they probably touched or they gave attention to certain parts. So unless I am choosing to make those shifts and or make um the difference or the change internally and hold that, that can be a temporary experience. And it, it's not like it's useless, but at the same time, it could just be a benchmark unless I internally know how to create that, which is why a lot of times people will go through sessions, talk sessions, body work sessions, and then just be like, oh yeah, they just want to make money. They just want to keep us coming back. You know, why not give us the whole packet? Why not give us the whole deal? Because it's not about just being able to give someone the whole deal. It is the ability to, like, we are still in charge of our systems and how we think and how we allow ourselves to feel or don't allow ourselves to feel or what we put in our gut. And so even if someone wanted to heal us forever, I don't think they can. And I think that's becoming more and more apparent in the world in all of these circuits too, that outside healing unless maintained, is only temporary. But mastery is a thing. Someone could have greater mastery. But that doesn't mean that you can be healed by someone, really. Yeah, I think um, what you shared, Ritz, I agree with. And it, so it's about choice, and it's about self-sourcing to me. Because even with a massage or something like that, when I go to get body work or massage, like, even before I, ha like, I yeah, choose to you know, allow that support. I'm like working with God and my divinity and like having God be a part of that. And as I'm making room, I'm like filling in with the light of God. So I'm like very active in that experience, I feel versus just like, okay, heal me, <laughs> you know? So to me, it's very much like a self, like a choice and also self-sourcing with that. And then even with this whole, like, let's just say entity removal or something, or like Something like that, where in the past, like I've had people work with me, it's like, I'm going to remove this now and I'm going to do that now or whatever. And that's that's all good. And like I learned a lot through that. But I, I can tell the difference of when I experienced that in those sessions. I was very much in fear. I was victim. This person knows more than me. I can't do this for myself. So I'm just going to sit here and they are going to heal me. Versus now I get to hold space for myself and through my mastery of doing work with myself and working with God and learning about all of this stuff, I'm able to hold that space for myself and hold a session for myself to be able to, to do that. You just, for me, you just spoke about the key. You said holding space for yourself. I feel like if you're holding space for yourself in any experience, even when that trigger thing you spoke about earlier or when someone's working on you, then they're a part of your connection with God, your game, your life, your creatorship. And that's the difference between giving the power away and holding space and self-sourcing.